Hello, welcome to YouTube channel of RVMax.us. My name is Sachin Shaw. My phone number is 864-404-0054. I'll repeat that at the end of the video. Uh, today we're going to bring you a presentation of this 2007 Winnebago Outlook Model 31C. We don't get a lot of Class C's. Those are the folks that have subscribed to our channels. We sell lots of Class A diesels. Occasionally we get these on trade and they don't last. So please look at the published video. If you call in after 60 days, more than likely the motorhome is gone, sold. Uh, we do go and change it to sold on our videos, but sometimes uh, we forget. But anyways, very low miles, 15,000 miles, got leveling jacks. That's a big, big, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, let's see, a uh, feature that is attracted versus some other Class C without leveling jacks. We'll show you that in a minute. 15,000 miles, Winnebago, a quality motorhome, 31 foot, got outside, right outside, let's see if it comes on, I'm sure it may, may be out of fuse or you could change it, but it's got outside entertainment with a 12 volt cigarette lighter hookup, coaxial, you could also put TV out here. Uh, Let's see how that works. I'm going to show you. It should have, uh, some of them have a table that climbs here, but you could put one of those lifeline tables. Take a look at this. Uh, got a little bit of 3M film here. You can remove it, but no d lamp straight body. I got a little bit of body damage on the bottom, but nothing major. So that's how you'll be just Somehow or another, you put it in the hole to hold the door open. Extension cord, 30 amp, six gallon water heater, back access for refrigerator. Look at the decals, they're not tattered up. It's a, I believe, check out Carfax to double verify, but it's a two owners. We bought it from an individual lady. Her husband was not uh, up to par health wise, so they sold the motor home. They bought it from a first owner. Um, tires are Firestone, they're 2016 date code, they're about four years old, 49 of a 16, 51 of 16, got 52 weeks in a year, so it was almost 17, so they're three years old, good tires, good trades, only 15,000 miles, so they are not original tires, they've been replaced, no worries on tires. LP tank, take a look at it, look at while you're under it, show them the jacks. Well, we got the one jack down on this side. It, it's on auto leveling. It's got automatic leveling. No rust underneath. Look at all our pictures. There you go. I love the back. Look at this massive storage on the back. Storage a little bit under here. You could actually put some ice and let the water out of it like a little cooler. From back here, I'll show you. Should be a spare tire under it. Yep, indeed, spare tire, some extra cable for TV. Over here, some floor mats. This is a massive storage back here. Really neat. Should be 5,000 pound towing capacity. Could be more, I don't know, but we'll put a Winnebago uh, spec sheet in our listing just check it out got a seven pin connector to tow your tow dolly or boat or jet ski or a car with a tow hookup we'll get up on top you got backup monitor as you see there uh, nice backup monitor 4,000 watt generator got really low hours we'll check it out this door has an outside shower this is where your 30 amp power comes in well, 30 power comes in here. That's your gas, a money hole. That's your 30 power, 30 amp power. That's your 4,000 amp generator. Was just serviced. Uh, our driver, who happens to be mechanic, picked it up in uh, uh, Florida, serviced it. Runs great. Little scrub right here. Could probably come off or put a little buff job. That's your uh, sewer discharge for gray water and a black water tank. Once again, Firestone all matching tires. 
decals are in really good shape, may have a little nicks or necks, but overall straight body. Maybe a couple of little tree scrubs on that W for Winnebago up on top. Slide out toppers in great shape. You don't see any tattered up on the edge of it. Usually when they go bad, you start seeing tears and stuff. So vinyl slide out toppers in good shape. More storage under here. And you see all this stainless steel holder. Uh, all the stuff you see goes with it. You got some extra uh, sewer hose and water hose. All that stuff that just goes with the motorhome. <laughs> There's another opening on the side. Oh, is that right? Oh, it's got it on the side. Okay. Well, what whatever's in there goes with the motorhome. More storage. So it's Class C, but it's still got a, lots of storage. Some tire covers. Let's see what's in there right here. Whatever. They must have changed. And so it looks like a presser regular. Press, I don't know what that is. All right. Yep, it's a water pressure regulator. All right. Just leave it in there right now. So it's about 31 feet approximately. In a, so as you can see, a little caulking going around here. All solid wall, straight wall. This is where a typical Class C has a water leaks and some of the issues with the water intrusion. Previous owners say they had taken care of it, took it to camping wall, had it fixed, and they've done redesigned the wall and stuff. You'll see it when we go inside. Ford V10 on a Econoline 450 motor. Uh, while we're on this side, let me go ahead and show you the... Uh, leveling jack pad right there. Left side of the steering column. That's a big foot. That, if you didn't have it in your Class C and you wanted to install in your Class C, that is a $4,000 worth of $4,000 worth of equipment installed. That is a $4,000 worth of a ad. Uh, I guess I said it a couple of times, so you know. <laughs> power windows, power mirrors, seats are in great shape. That's a 3M film kind of going out. You could take it off. So we made a complete circle. Let's go inside and show you real quick. So front looks great. Uh, Chrome's got a little bit of a, I guess, a little tarnish stain. I'm, I'm nitpicking the coach so you don't have to. It's a 2007 model. Anyhow you cut it, it is a 13-year-old motorhome. I think even fiberglass in here has got a little paint, just a slight discoloration right here in front of that window. Uh, just like to, you know, show little stuff like that. Vinyl awning is in great shape. No tattered, tattered up or puncture the holes. Awning's in great shape. Overall, it's a really nice motorhome. All right, check it out. This is what you're going to like. The people have subscribed to our channel. They know what we do. That is a waterproof LVP laminate, I think what they call luxurious vinyl plank floor. There are batteries under here, coach batteries. Check it out. It had a very clean carpet, but it doesn't matter the two words, very clean. What's wrong in that sentence is carpet. We rip all the carpets out. It does have a carpet, however, in front, driver and passenger seat in the cab area. We left that alone. Okay, uh, this, uh, that's the only place there is a carpet. We took carpet out in the bedroom and here too. So that's the overhead cab. Let's start in the front. So it's got a nice little ladder. So the lady likes blue thin. She put a blue something and then, and, and, uh, as you notice, oh, that's my jacket. Um, they had a water leak and they fixed it. No water leak. We've had it for less than a two weeks and or maybe almost coming up to a month. We're just getting around to do video. And in South Carolina, we probably had a, out of 30 days, probably 15 days of rain. Uh, no water leak at all. So, uh, and I think as you can see, she has done all painting. She painted a wall white and a blue. It's come from Florida. I like that. It's kind of like a beach theme. Uh, maybe some of the strokes went on that blue uh, fabric, but hey, uh, like here, she painted white and yeah, painted on the side too. Yep. TV, I couldn't find a remote, but you can go buy one at Walmart for 10 bucks. It swivel back and forth. Oh, it locks in. How about that? Um, so let's see, 
Kitchen consists of du double sink, dual sinks. Also, uh, I think carpet dim. That's uh, that means what? Happy camper? I don't know. It's some kind of Latin word. Uh, somebody told me and I forgot. Anyway, she painted all these walls. These are aftermarket little stick-on back splash tile. They're not tile, you know, it's a, it's a vinyl. You see it as it coming off. Happy camper. Stainless steel three burner ga uh, gas stove. You have a microwave under here. It should be convection. Yes, it is. It's a convection oven. Uh, double door refrigerator. Works on LP gas. Huh? What's glamper. happy glamper? Oh God, I, I didn't even. I said glamper. That means like a camping in the style, like you know, glamorous camping. I think that's what it means. Uh, got a glamorous little ball. She changed those. Uh, so we got uh, some stuff here. That's a runner carpet. Whatever came with the motorhome goes with it. Lots of drawers here. Oh, it, it has all kinds of. I don't know what these are. So it got Velcro? Yes, it does, Velcro. Oh, so what it happens, it's like this, okay? So she removed all the, uh, those string kind of uh, window treatment. They are notorious. Kind of like that. That's a little homey touch she did on it. Uh, some windshield, sun blocker, more window covers. All right, let's see. On this side, as you can see, we have not removed this fabric, okay? It's, uh, it's just fabric on top of the sofa. I'd probably have original fabric if you wanted to get this off. By the way, this is an odor-free motorhome. No smoke odor of cigarette or smoke or, importantly, no pad odor, no mildew odor, just a very neutral odor motorhome. Unless you cook something, steak or uh, curry, then you'll have a food smell. <laughs> Adventure waiting. So m here we go. Important thing. All the books and records are right here. By the way, it does have a clean Carfax. It is a Florida motorhome. That's where we got from. Oh, look at this. Owner is very well taken care of. Person got the little 12 by 12 by 1 uh, air filters. Oh, these were the seat covers. Uh, we didn't care for it, but if you want it, you can have it. It looks a little loud colors. We took them off from a driver and passenger seats. That's your little thing that goes up here, but oh, wow. That's just the air uh, intake, and they added that. Okay. That's your exhaust fan. Booth down it, folds down in the bed. You have some uh, storage under there, seat belts. I think seat bills only on this side. I love this little curved wall, sort of European design. Uh, she painted that too, white. It makes it home look. Uh, this door of the bathroom, it comes open and it shuts. The center part of the coach gives you complete privacy where you have a shower. Notice all the fabric around this skylight window. We didn't have to use bleach water to get water stain off. Uh, that's how you, that's a remedy for water stain, but no water stain. Very, very clean motorhome. And we're gonna get up on top before we go on test drive to show you how solid fiberglass roof Winnebago makes. On this side of the motorhome, we have a private toilet, some cabinets up on top, Plenty of counter space. Look at the fabric again on top. No water stains. Just a good solid motorhome. Hard to find low miles, well taken care of motorhomes. There's some, oh, there is the remote for the TV I was looking for, maybe. Yep, that is it. I'll have that TV on. So you don't have to spend that $10. It's a Toshiba TV with the DVD player on the side. So they've changed the old boob tubes and put those TVs. Uh, once again, there are all the window coverings are there. Check that out. I think there, there should be, I think I noticed them there, right there. 
And look at the walls on the corner, no water leaks. That's where you find water leaks and the wall gets soft and all that. So there's a window behind here. They've upgraded the bed uh, from factory. I don't know, but it's pretty nice. Uh, so hardwood floor goes throughout the bedroom area, as you can see right here and there. Uh, all the walls being painted white. I think it gives a really home look. What do you think, Nicole? It is neat. This will conclude our video on this 2007 Winnebago Outlook Model 31C. Have any questions? I'm going to add my number at the end again. I'm going to get on the road and test drive. Our son does a really good job on that, but... I'll do a small job and give you the, uh, you know, just to give you feedback. Uh, the driver drove from Florida to here. He said he drove excellent. I mean, 15,000 miles. This motor has not hurt at all. So let's get up on top of the roof, show you the roof, and we'll get on the highway and uh, give you a little feedback. My number is 864-404-0054. The number again is 864-404-0054. Give me a text, uh, and I'll get back to you. If you can't, don't know how to text, just leave me a voicemail, I'll get back to you. Thank you. Let's get on the road and show. Here we're on top of this fiberglass, one-piece solid fiberglass roof. Really good condition. I'm on top of the, the cab area where you saw the bedroom. Got a max air cover and also two more max air cover. One for the bedroom and one for the bathroom area, toilet area. Uh, that's aftermarket. It's a really nice thing. So if it's raining, you can still open your vent door and don't have to worry about rain coming in. But roof, there's nothing to complain about. Really good. No soft spot. It's a solid roof. And that's where the water leaked. Like I said, I don't know if there was a little leak from window or something, but it's been fixed. I'd just like to mention that. If you're looking for a motorhome that had never had water leak in their life, uh, you might as well go buy brand new, okay? This one don't have any issues from water leak. Even you look at all this caulking is darkened up for age but no cracks in them okay look at the back seal the main seal it's darkened but no dry rotted crack so you're supposed to get up on top of your motorhome every spring or uh, every couple of years and and uh, periodically check your caulking and 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 freshen up so you just got to maintain your motorhome uh refrigerator vent looks good no dried out because sun would damage it that's your skylight look at top of the top side of vinyl awning uh, air conditioning shroud, not tore up, nothing like that. Slide out topper looks great, so nothing to worry about from uh, this view. Let's get on down the highway and uh, finish this video. Thank you. All right, we are on test drive with this 2007 Winnebago Outlook 31C. It has 15,389 miles. And we just checked the generator. Generator has about 102 hours, so very, very low hours. Updated a little stereo here. Backup monitor is right here, you can see. Uh, nowadays, you can put a new Bluetooth radio with a backup monitor in it for next to nothing, maybe three, 400 bucks, okay? I'm in a city driving at about 35 miles an hour, steer straight. Uh, no vibration, nothing. We're about to get on interstate here and show you how it drives on the highway. So it does have cruise control. We'll check the cruise control. Uh, we have the heat. Let's see. We can turn the heat on. And heat works great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm sure air conditioning works. We'll check that out as well. So here we're getting ready to get on a, well it's cold out there, but it's blowing a cold, cold air. We're in like 50s, but air conditioning seems to work. All right, back to the heat. Item will accelerate 35, 40, 45. 50. Oh, we got all this thing reconfigured. I was going to go on 85 South, but oh well. <laughs> we'll have a little nice test drive. 55 miles an hour. 60 miles an hour. Accelerate smoothly. 
65 miles an hour, going up the hill, climbing just fine. Just got an overdrive. Let's see, we'll turn the cruise on. Cruise is set. Man, there we go. So it has heated mirrors and a power mirrors, okay? It, along with the power door locks, power windows. I'm doing 65 miles an hour on a cruise control. So it's, it's running smooth. Look at the steering wheel. No vibration. It's just a smooth running motorhome. So um, this will conclude our video on this 2007 Winnebago Outlook Model 31C with about 15,000 miles and 102 hours on generator. Uh, everything works. We have installed about $2,500 worth of uh, hardwood floors, $2,500 worth. Uh, that's what it cost with the labor and all. Um, we have a leveling jacks. That is a plus on a Class C. It's not perfect, but it's very, very nice used Class C motorhome. Anything else you'd like to add, Nicole? It's a very nice motorhome. It'll sleep, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that two up on top, two on a sofa, two on a booth dinette, and two in a back bedroom. But if you count only two here, one of each, so you could sleep six to eight people. Um, nice little motorhome. Give me a call or text 864-404-0054. 864-404-0054. Thank you and have a great day.